Today we will have an Archer City ISD promo, take an exclusive look behind the scenes of the Win News, as well as Best Friends Trivia. These stories and more on the January 18th edition of the Win News. Good afternoon, I'm Chase Curry. And I'm Con Mayo. Archer City ISD has a lot going on for it. Here are James Allen and Trent Dorsey with more. Archer City ISD, one, it's a high quality school with high quality staff that takes care of kids. And when you're in, when you're on the inside of that, it's hard to appreciate everything that's good about what you're in. It's like going to a ball game. We can sit in the stands and we can evaluate the players or the coaches or the referees and we can get mad and think this and that. But if you're, when you're in a game, you're in the game. You can't watch the game and play it too. And you're in a situation where you're in the game. So you don't get to see all the, everything. You see a lot of negatives but there are so many positives about your school. Archer City ISD is, even though there's no rating this year, if you go at everybody up in our region, we're the number one school. We don't get to advertise that because the state is not giving us a document to advertise that. But I have talked to the people who have all the figures and they have told me Archer City is the number one rated school academically. Thanks guys, we do have a great school. We do. The ACHS UIL Invitational Meet was Saturday. Archer City placed fourth out of 16 schools. In computer applications, Isaac Diegas placed third and Ty Cantrell fourth. In editorial writing, Corey Keeter placed second, Lauren Connor third, and Juan Alba fourth. In feature writing, Corey Keeter placed first and Lauren Connor fourth. In headline writing, Corey Keeter plays first, and J.C. Holly fifth. In news writing, Corey Keeter first, Madeline Tedrow fourth, and Stephanie Z fifth. In ready writing, Maddox Mayo plays sixth. Brooke Smith plays fourth in poetry, and Adeline Harvey plays fifth in prose. Archer City was also the first place journalism team. The next Invitational UIL meet will be, in fe will be on February 10th in Holiday. If you are interested in competing, fill out the form from Ms. Cox, emailed by today. Seniors, you need to reserve your spot by Tuesday, January 23rd for the presentation about the financial aid for you and your parents, which will be Thursday, January 25th in Ms. Brunkridge Lab. Lunch will be provided. All juniors also need to attend the meeting this Sunday, January 21st with their parents about prom. January is School Board Appreciation Month. The broadcast staff would like our board members to know how much we appreciate them. Corey Keeter and Parker Hilbers have been selected to represent the ACHS at the Hobie Leadership Conference this summer. The local scholarship application deadline is approaching quickly. This one application puts students in the running for numerous scholarship opportunities, including the ACISD Wind Farm Scholarship and Sports Booster Club Scholarships. Application deadline is February 1st. No late applications are accepted. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Graham. A lot goes on into the wind news making news. Cassie Marin and Nicole Krause show a glimpse behind the scenes. Here's a look at the behind the scenes of wind news. Members explain the meaning of wind news. Wind news stands for Wildcat Information Now. It's the Archer City High School weekly broadcast. Wind news is our weekly broadcast and it's to show everyone the information and everything that's going on around the school. So the Wind News is our weekly news broadcast for the school where we talk about sports or just anything happening going on in general at the school. Broadcast members explain what the day of film is like. Well, we start the day by getting, we'll get all our graphics ready that we're going to show for announcements and then everyone will sign up to do the roles and then we'll prepare during the class period before broadcast. We'll just prepare then and then when it comes prime time, that's when we go live. And we so first, if 
depending on your role, it kind of is different every week. But so we have to get the script ready. We have to get all the graphics together and figure out which features we want to use for that news. And then we just go during prime time and film the broadcast at once. Um, it can be very chaotic sometimes, but honestly, if we all get together and work together, it can go very smoothly. Members say what it takes to prepare for filming. So when we're not broadcasting and we have this class during the week, we work on our features, which features are just like, we just cover events that are happening in the school and whether it be sports, UIL or anything. So you have a graphics editor and they do all the graphics and then you have the teleprompter who writes up the script. Then you also have your director and your camera operators and they, uh, they control everything behind the scenes. The broadcast staff goes into detail about their favorite things. So my favorite thing is that we can be creative and then like you can pick what feature you want to do and you could really just choose what angle you want to cover things from and you can make them funny if you want to. So. My favorite thing about the Win News is getting to go out and interview people for the different features we do. It really does take a lot to produce a broadcast. Yes, but it is fun. Speaking of fun, here are Shelly Merkel and Jalissa Guerrero with some Bestie Trivia. Savannah's favorite food is chicken spaghetti. My favorite food is chicken spaghetti. Pretzels? Spaghetti. Okay, Jenny's favorite food is like pasta, but Olive Garden, specifically. Chicken Alfredo. Pizza. Cheeseburgers. Five. I have five siblings, but four basically. <laughs> Two. Two. Genevieve has six siblings. Six. 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 Savannah's favorite color is blue. Light blue. <coughs> Purple. Purple. Genevieve's favorite color is blue. 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 Um, August 2nd. August 2nd. January 5th, 2012. January 5th, 2012. Jimmy's birthday is May 15th. May 15th. November 30th, 2011. November 30th, 2011. How well do you know your best friend? I thought well, but I don't have any. I agree. And now the sports corner. I'm Cassidy Marin. Last night, the junior high boys hosted the Indians at home, where seventh grade won while eighth grade lost. At the same time, the junior high girls traveled to Nakona, and both seventh and eighth grade lost. Tonight, the JV boys and varsity teams will play in Petrolia. The games will start at five. Last Thursday, powerlifting had its first meet in Burke, with Zane Foster placing fifth, Adrian Rubio sixth, Brendan Mason and Shooter Canada placing ninth, and Zach Allen twelfth. We also had a JV meet in Petrolia this past Monday, with Seth Kinsey at 555 pounds, Noah Madsen at 590 pounds, and Nate Trapp at 670 pounds. The girls competed in their first powerlifting meet yesterday, with Jada Bogar lifting 560 pounds, and Carla Preby, 390 pounds. That's it for the Sports Corner this week. Good luck to all the Lady Cats and Wildcats. Thanks, Cassidy. That's it for this edition of the Wind News. Don't have a good day. Have a great day, Archer, Archer City. City.